we are going to go ahead and jump right into this. I'm going to go ahead and apologize ahead of time if the um, footage of this is a little bit shaky. Right after I filmed my intro, I went to go twist my tripod so that I could angle the phone a different way, and it snapped in half. So, um, I used hot glue to put it back together so I could at least prop my phone back up on it, but um, I can still see where it's wiggling. So, if this turns out to be too wiggly or too unstable, then I may just refilm this. Um, but we're just going to keep on going and we'll see. So we're going to start out on the very top of my vanity. Um, let me back up a little bit. So this is my vanity setup. Don't mind that piece of trash right there. Sorry about that. So I have uh, two of the Alex Ikea um, five drawers. And then I have this linen, linen tabletop. Um... I can't remember exactly what the size of it is, but it's pretty big. And then if we turn around, you'll see Georgie. You'll see Frankie. Hi. She wants her belly rubbed. I have another Ikea. This is a um, six drawer, um, which I also keep some makeup in there. But primarily, everything is in here. So, starting out on the very top, um, on this left-hand side, this is... A haul that I need to film. Um, I'm still waiting on quite a few more packages to come in. Three, I think. Um, and I know I said before I normally don't like doing hauls, but I have ordered so much stuff that I feel like it would probably wor be worth it to do it this time. So that's what all that stuff is there, a little sneak peek. Um, and this white tin, um, I got this from Target. I keep all of my eyeliners, my mascaras, and my lip liners in here. So lip liners, we have some from Buxom, um, NYX, ColourPop, Bite Beauty. Um, I'm sure I have some MAC somewhere in here. Yep, MAC. Um, just a lot of variation. Um, in the eyeliners, I have the LA, I have LA Girl. Um, Rimmel, Pure, NYX, um, what is this, Ciate, Too Faced, and then in mascaras, we've got a whole bunch of different kinds, so I have this little razor I use in case my eyebrows need a little bit of cleaning up before I can wax them, Benefit, Essence, Colourpop, um, Benefit Bad Gal Bang is one of my favorites, so... I have two of those in here. Got my eyelash curler, and then I also keep tweezers that they just hang on the side right here. Um, in the back, I keep extra face brushes and eye brushes. So the ones that I use every day, I pull closer to me when I'm sitting down, and then I keep these back here so I can cycle them out. Um, brushes, I have a little bit of everything. BH Cosmetics, IT Cosmetics, Wet n Wild, Morphe, um, Fenty, similar thing for eye brushes. If you guys want me to do a video on some of my favorite brushes, let me know. I can film that for you. If we move towards the front of the desk, this is where I have more brushes. So these are the ones I'm using right now. Um, we have the Jeffree Star Morphe Collection, the Wet n Wild Pac-Man brush, which... Like, I could sit here and do this all day. I think it's so entertaining. This is actually a really good brush, though, if you need, like, a bronzer brush and if you can find it. I had to go to, like, three different Walgreens to find that. More eye brushes. And then, let me sit down real quick. In this little container right here. So, I got this tray. This is, like, a bathroom organizer from TJ Maxx. Um, I keep setting sprays up here. So we have some from Morphe. We have some from Too Faced. I've got Urban Decay D Slick, which is great if you have really oily skin. The Anastasia Dewy Set. Um, MAC Fix Plus in the Rose Scent. Um, some Olay. We've got Mario Badescu. Um, I'm trying to make sure I'm hitting the getting the right angle and also show you guys stuff. Smashbox Primer Water, Ofra Makeup Fixer, and then this fan from Amazon, which I really recommend. I think it was like $7. I haven't had to change up the batteries yet, and I feel like it helps with my when I use my setting spray. Then up here, we keep 
um, some stuff that I use pretty often. So we have Batiste Dry Shampoo, the Garnier um, Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, which actually I don't love, but I bought the giant bottle of it, so now I'm using it. Um, I also keep the Sonia Kashuk Brush Shampoo up here if I need to spot clean some brushes. And then on the bottom part, I keep all of my skincare. So, um, I'm pretty basic when it comes to skincare, only because when it comes to buying stuff, I really would rather spend my money on makeup. I do want to work on that and making, getting better about that, because I feel like I just, if your skin doesn't look good, your makeup doesn't look good. But, um, I have the Josie Moran Argan Milk. This is an e.l.f., um... Wow, moisturizer, Pixie Beauty Glow Tonic to Go Pads. I actually prefer the actual bottle and not the pads. Um, Pixie, this is like the rose oil. Um, we have the Ola Henriksen. Um, this is the Invigorating and Night Transformation Gel. I bought this because I heard someone say that this was a really good um, dupe for the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I've never tried good jeans, but I do notice a difference in my skin texture when I use this. I just have to remember to use it. And then the Clinique, um, the dra Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Um, I have some eye creams down in here. This is like a roll-on perfume. Um, and then I have a little sample of the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I really like this. I just feel like it takes a long time to sink into my skin. I have like a white cast for a while when I use it. And then just some cotton pads. All right, so if we move over, I actually have a, this is the mirror that I use when I do my makeup. I'm gonna drop everything, I just know it. So I switched it around so you guys wouldn't see me, but whatever, we're gonna deal with it because I'm looking rough today. Um, this is a mirror from Impressions Vanity. You can see all of the hot glue that's holding the tripod. Oh, okay, A++ YouTuber. Um, so this you can buy from Ulta actually if you have like a lot of points and you want to use it on something. Um, it has most of the time you don't have to keep it plugged in but it doesn't stay charged for very long if you don't. But it does provide really good light. You can actually dim the light too if you wanted to just by holding on this button or you can just turn it off. Um, and it also does have Bluetooth so you can connect your phone to it. Um, if you want to like listen to music or like if someone calls you, you can even answer your phone and it just plays through a speaker on there, which is really nice. I really enjoy it. I'm glad that I purchased it. Um, moving over, this is going to be my Shop My Stash. So I filmed a few videos on um, my Shop My Stash before. Um, this is what I'm set up with right now. So we're going to go through this really quick just because this is, let me see my chair closer. Just because this is part of my makeup collection. So eyeshadow wise, Anastasia Soft Glam. I'm going to go through this pretty fast because I filmed a separate video on my Shop My Stash. We have the MAC Electric Wonder. This is the face palette. The Tartiste Pro Glow. And the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. If you, if when I dive into my makeup collection, I'm going to show more stuff like in depth, like I'll actually open palettes, but I just filmed a shot my stash where I'm pretty sure I showed all of these in that video, um, so I'm not going to do it so much today, but this colored rain palette, what? I think I'm going to need this light, aren't I? Yeah. So pretty. Definitely like a pinky orange tone though, um, orange toned eyeshadow palette. Um, foundation, I have the Clinique Beyond Perfecting, foundation and concealer, and the Tarte Found Sealer. And then I'll give you a brief overview. This is the top drawer of my Shop My Stash that I have currently. Like I said, if you guys want me to go to show you these products in depth, go watch that video. Because I feel like if I talk about it again in this one, it's going to be super repetitive. And we're worried about my other makeup collection today, I feel like. So I'm just going to give you like an overview of the drawers. Got some lip products in here. So yeah, that's my shop, my stash. Which, like I said, if you guys watched my previous videos, then you know what those products look like. And then all the way to the right, I have a little cup. This was from the BH Cosmetics Neon Collection. Um, the brushes that came with it were neon too, which 
when my haul goes up, you guys will see how obsessed I've been with neon. Um, I have my cup here. This keeps ice water in it. it. has my monogram on it. And I actually got to pick out the colors, which was pretty cool. And then I just have like a reusable like silicone straw. This is lipstick on the straw, by the way. Not anything else just lipstick and then I have my phone charging over here on my wireless charger so this is the top of my vanity hey again um, everything up here pretty much stays the same but we're gonna go ahead and get into the drawers next so I'm gonna take you over we're gonna go to the left side first say hi to George he's taking a nap he loves that giant bear he loves it okay so this is the very first drawer in my makeup collection on the left hand side. So in this drawer I mainly keep makeup wipes. Um, I mainly use makeup wipes to wipe swatches off. That's why I buy these e.l.f. ones. Um, I have used these a few times to actually remove makeup and they do work pretty well surprisingly. They don't burn my eyes or nothing. But I just, I'm not a fan of just wiping a cloth on my face to remove my makeup. So. These I use for swatches, which I keep right here. We've got this Ulta Beauty New Hue Shadow Switching Pan. This is one of those things. I'm going to have to do all of this one-handed, so I'm probably not going to be able to get this open. But this is one of those things where you swirl your brush around in it, and it takes all the pigment off so you can use it again. Um, some bobby pins, which these are blonde. My sister actually left these, so I've just been using them. They don't match my hair at all, but they're good in a pinch. And then this container holds the beauty blender that I'm using currently, which is this one. That's why it looks so dirty. And then I have clean sponges here. And then I also have this tin in the back. I'm not going to be able to get it out. That also has clean sponges in it. A lot of those are going to have to be thrown out soon because I've had them for so long. And then back here I have some palettes to put foundation on. And then if I can get it. Oh, God. This... I mean, I guess this isn't that important, but for some reason I just had to get it out. This is a tin from Cinema Secrets used with their brush cleaner, which that's also a really good quick brush cleaner if you need it. And then this is also where I keep my brow products, um, my eyeshadow primers, and like lash glue and like random stuff like that. So I have MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, Duo Lash Glue, the NYX Multitasking Medium. I have a lot of Benefit pencils. We have the Precisely My Brow and the Goof Proof. I use the shade 3. We have an Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. Another pencil sharpener. This is like this is from Bobbi Brown from for their like pencil lip and cheek pencils that I got in like a set and I just kept the sharpener but don't have any of the pencils anymore. I have another Goof Proof, the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This one's in the shade Brunette Betty. Milk Kush Eyebrow Gel. Benefit, what is this called? Cabral, this is like their pomade. Anastasia Eye Primer, which I actually really like. Um, more Benefit, this is their 24 hour brow setter. Goof Proof, or Gimme Brow, I'm sorry. This is some of my favorite brow gel. We've also got a Too Faced Shadow Insurance, a Tarte Eyebrow Gel, and this other brow duo by Inspire. This is in the shade Dark Brown. So yeah, and then over to the side, I just keep like pencil sharpeners, bobby pins, just stuff if I need, I can reach for really quick. So that's the first drawer. Moving on to the second drawer, I actually just reorganized this. It looks so much better than what I did before. I'm super happy with it. So this is my powder and my concealer drawer. Um, usually I like to organize my makeup in the order that I'm gonna put it on my face, but um, before I had all of my powders in this drawer, and then in the next drawer we're gonna see was my foundation, primer, and concealer, and I was quickly running out of room. And like I said, I just, I'm getting ready to film a haul, and that means I have more products, so I need to make room. Um, because I'm always buying makeup, it's just what I like to do. Um, I have a channel too, so, you know, I'm always purchasing new stuff, but this is my powder and my concealer drawer. So, this little container just has a, a mix of loose powders and pressed powders. We have the Makeup Revolution Lace Baking Powder, the Cover FX Setting Powder, Too Faced Born This Way Setting Powder, uh, 
Um, we've got the Too Faced Banana Cream Brightening Powder, the KKW Powder, which I actually have this in this in the pressed version as well. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Pressed Powder. Let me see if I can open this for you. I don't know, guys, if this powder is all that worth it. So I think this is like, what, a $50 face powder? I have mine in the shade of Fair. It's good, but I don't know if it's $50 good. But, yep, got that. We have the Honest Beauty Loose Powder. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. That one can be a little bit finicky. Um, you have to work with it. The, here's the KKW pressed powder. Mine is actually broken. You can hear it. It's loose there, so when I open it, I have to be careful or else it'll just pop out. Um, but I really like that for brightening. The Maybelline Super Stay Powder Foundation. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, which I've hit pan on. I'm trying to use up. Rimmel Stay Matte. This is a good matte powder too, which I've also hit pan on. We've got... The Honest Beauty Midnight Reflection Glow Powder. This has no glow. It's not a glow powder. It's more chalky. So that may be getting decluttered, but it's in there for now. Fenty Beauty Pressed Powder. This is actually really, really good. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. I'm running out of breath already. Can you hear me? Elf Finishing Powder in Fair Light. I've also hit pan on this. Look at how good I'm doing opening these one-handed. I'm so impressed with myself. Good job, girl. Um, also hit pan on this. And then the Maybelline. Oh, no. I think I've hit pan on this, too. I'm not going to be able to open it. The Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin in the shade 20 Classic Ivory. Very good powder if you have oily skin. And then back here, I just have some more loose powders. So Laura Mercier. I don't know why it took me so long to try this, but it's as good as everyone says it is. Same thing goes for the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. It's as good as everyone says it is. I do find that the I can't apply this with a brush or else it looks too dry, so I do have to go in with a sponge. Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder, one of my all-time favorite powders. Derma Blend Professional Loose Sounding Powder. This is in the shade Original. Don't think I would repurchase that. MAC Cosmetics Patrick Star Powder. Uh, I wish I would have bought a backup. Fenty Beauty Loose Setting Powder in the shade of Butter. I have a hard time with this getting it to work sometimes. Let me know if any of you guys do too. It just like can be finicky. Maybelline Loose Setting Powder. This is almost too dark for me, but I'm almost done with it. So I'm just trying to use it up. And then we have one hidden back here. The LA Girl Pro Powder. This is in the shade Banana. I can only use that when I'm super tan, but it is really pretty. And now I have powder all over my hands. Okay, moving on to concealer. So with my makeup collection, I do like trying new things, but if I get something that I find that I don't like, it doesn't stay around for very long. So most of the stuff you guys are going to see today are products that I do really like. Um, so yeah, um, we have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Treatment Concealer. Mine's in the shade Fair. NARS, the matte pot concealer. Um, I think I have mine. Chantilly is the shade I have mine in. I also have some cream bronzer over here so we have the smashbox contour sticks and a bronze and contour shade fenty beauty match stick and walnut covergirl concealer in the shade golden amber two orange to contour with that was my bad but it does work really well the actual formula benefit hula quickie contour stick one of my favorite cream contour products and then concealer, actual concealer, we've got the Fenty Beauty Concealer, Too Faced to Born This Way. There's powder everywhere now. Elf Camo Concealer. I have two shades of the LA Girl Pro Conceal. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, CoverGirl Concealer and an actual concealer shade. I have mine in the shade Fair Porcelain. Two CoverGirl, or no, this is not CoverGirl, this is ColourPop. Two ColourPop concealers, which I actually haven't even opened yet because I'm trying to use some of this up before I do. But I have used it before and I really loved it when I did. 
um, Tarte Shape Tape, one of my favorite concealers. And then we have the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I do kind of want to try and get a concealer that's a little bit more lightweight because I feel like everything I have here is very heavy duty. Um, so maybe that will be in my haul. You guys will have to find out. Okay, next drawer. This looks so much better than what I did, I promise. Than what it did, even though it might not seem like it. So, this is foundation and primer. Um, I keep them together because right after I go in with primer, I go in with foundation. And it's just easier and I don't have the space to put them in separate drawers. So, this is what we're working with right now. So, primarily, everything in this bin is primer. So, we've got Cover Effects Gripping Primer, Honest Beauty Matte, Too Faced Hangover, got the Tatcha Silk Canvas, NYX Angel Veil, Wet n Wild Rose, the Water Drop Primer, L'Oreal Glow Lumi Primer, Milani Soft Focus Glow, Touch and Soul No Problem Water Essence, Benefit Professionals in there. Um, oh, what else have we got in here? The Tarte Poreless Mattifying Primer. Um, is that it? Oh, we've got oh L'Oreal Matte Lock. This is super good if you have oily skin. I highly recommend it. Oh gosh, I'm just throwing product around, aren't I? So that's all primers. I do have a little, okay, don't stay in there. I do have a little sample of the Dior Backstage Face and Body Primer. <clears throat> I don't think I like it enough to purchase the whole size though. And then moving, see Frankie's little feet, see him? <laughs> moving over, this is pretty much all foundation. So we've got the Too Faced Do You Full Coverage Foundation. Revlon Candid, L'Oreal um, True Match. I have the Phys Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. The LA Girl Pro Coverage. This is in the white shade, so I can mix it in if some of my foundations are too dark. NARS Natural Radiant Longwear. We've got Maybelline Superstay. Elf Flawless Finish. I want to try their Acne Fighting Foundation. I've heard it's really good. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and Pro Glow. Some of these foundations look gross, guys, but they sit up so everything is settled. It, it, there's a good chance some of them are expired too, but let me live my life, okay? Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I don't reach for this as much as I thought I would. It's good. Like, it's good as everyone else says, but I don't know. I just reach for other things first. Covergirl Outlast All Day Foundation, Wet n Wild Foundation Stick. I was pleasantly surprised by this. Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. Oh God. Um, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. Dior Face and Body Foundation. The foundation's worth it. Don't know if the primer is. It lasts so long. L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. I like two shades of that. Super good. And then we also have the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I have two shades of it too. I'm pretty sure they discontinue that. So I don't know if I'm going to be using it that much. Because I don't want to not be able to buy it again. Okay. Last section we have the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. This is new to me. I have the shade 20NN. I need to try this out more and decide um, what I think about it. I've only used it once. And I think the primer I used with it wasn't that great. So, um, yeah. This one lays flat because it's too tall to stand up in my drawer. We also have the Pacifica Alight Clean Foundation. I have mine in this shade Neutral Fair. This is way too light for me. It looks so, like it looks pretty good in the bottle. I put it on, it makes me look like Casper. Um, and I also could not get this to blend whatsoever. So, we're going to try it again. It Cosmetics CC Cream. Mine's in the shade Light. This is super good foundation. Love it. Lancome Skin Feels Good. Um, it's like this is like a skin tint. This was not my favorite. This is in the shade Cool Porcelain. Um, I think my skin's just too oily for it, but I feel like in the winter this will look better. So I'm gonna hold on to it. Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hydrid or Hybrid Complexion Perfector. This is great if you're going to like 
Um, say you're gonna go like to a fair or a festival and you wanna look put together but you don't wanna wear like a lot of cakey foundation, this is really good. Just gives you like a nice skin tint and it holds up really well. Um, that along with that Dior foundation are good for days like that. And then lastly for the primers, I have the Touch and Soul No Pore Blend Primer. This is one of my favorite primers ever. Tarte Smoothless Primer. This is also one of my faves as well as the Bobbi Brown Face Base. Is that what it's called? I'm pretty sure. Then over here we've got the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. The Becca Instant Complexion Refresh Light Priming Filter Primer. I don't use this as much. And then the Milk Hydro Grip. This makes me break out, but boy, does it hold on to your makeup. Okay, so that's it. If you guys see anything while I'm going through these drawers you want me to talk about more in a video, let me know and I can do that for you. Now we're going to move on to the next drawer. So, I think I'm going to have to move down to the floor for this. This is... Ooh, my bronzer drawer. So... I keep some cream bronzers in here, but for the pri for the most part, what is that? I have no idea what that is. But for the most part, this is powder bronzers. So let's start over here on this side. Um, the very first bronzer I have in here, this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Give Me Sun. Really good, super warm though, so if you don't like that, I wouldn't recommend that for you. We have the Morphe Brontour in the shade Frenemy. Let's see if I can get this open. Um, also super warm toned. I really like warm toned bronzers, which you're going to see in here. But if you just take that into consideration when you guys are looking for product recommendations. Next we have the Huda Beauty Tan Tour. This is in the shade Fair. I actually really ended up liking this more than I thought I would too. Let me see if I can... Um, I feel like it looks like I haven't used it very much, but I promise you I have. I really want to try some more products from Huda Beauty. I meant to buy one of her, I want to try one of her setting powders, but I just haven't made that purchase yet. Next we have the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blends. This is in the shade 30 Sunkissed. I bought this because of Casey Holmes and it's, I really like it. We have the Jouer, Jouer Bronzing Duo. This is like the lighter shade. Do you guys want to see every single product? Because that's what I'm doing. Um, I just feel like I have to build this up a lot. It's not as pigmented, but that's, I mean, fine by me. Um, next we have the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Um, same thing with this. I feel like I have to build it up a lot. You can see all of the hot glue again. Sorry. Um, but the highlight in this is beautiful. I also want to try out some more from Charlotte Tilbury. But it takes money, girl. We gotta work first. Um, Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. This is $50. I mean, this is an expensive, but or an expensive um, product, but it's beautiful for one. This blends this out, blends out so amazing on your skin. And also, I use this pretty regularly, pretty often, and I've had it since Christmas. And I feel like I've barely, like, I haven't even made a dent in it yet. So I feel like you do get your money's worth. Um, and it just applies product like. It just applies like butter, you know, you know? All right, next we've got the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. This is the one that's like the ginormous packaging and it's, it's huge. Um, mine was the Rose Gold. I have the one that, it was basically limited edition and I thought the shade itself was limited edition but they have it permanent now. So that, it's good and kind of sucks at the same time because I bought that thinking you know, I wouldn't be able to get it again. And then lastly, we have, or for this portion, we have the Morphe Glamour Bronze in the shade Megastar. Again, this is super warm toned. I kind of wish I would have gotten the one that was lighter than it, but I'm making it work. Okay, so let's quickly put all of this, oh no, back in here. 
See, I need Matt here to help me film this, but he's working guys, so I gotta do this on my own. And I really wanted to film a video today, so yeah. Okay, next portion we have Benefit Hula. This is one of my faves. I do have Hula in a palette with some other blushes, which I tend to reach for that more just because I use the blushes in it too. I'm sorry if you can hear Georgie snoring. Look at him. Look at him. Isn't he the cutest? Can I zoom in? Oh, little George. Oh, you woke him. Sorry. Oh, God, he's going to be mad now. <laughs> Okay, Benefit Hula, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer, Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. I have both the shade Fair Light and Medium. These are super good, really good bronzers. They're like glowy, not like shimmery, just glowy. And then we have the MAC um, Aladdin Bronzer. Um, this one's in the shade Your Wish Is My Command. I put a review up on that collection if you guys want to see that. We also have a ColourPop bronzer. This one is in the shade Afternoon Delight. Um, the only thing I don't like about ColourPop is that they don't put the names on the back, so I had to write AD on it to remember which one it was that I actually ended up getting. Too Faced Sun Bunny. Is that what this is called? I'm not gonna be able to open it. Oh, yes I am. Sun Bunny Bronzer. This is a also a super glowy bronzer. Hourglass Bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. One of my all-time favorite bronzers. I don't. Let me know if anyone else is like this, but I won't use this because I know if I ever go through it, it's gonna be like sixty dollars to rebuy it. Maybe not 60, more like 50, but please let me know if anyone else is like that. Because then I just get mad at myself because I'm like, you're wasting good product by letting it just sit in there. But then I'm like, oh, but I don't to use all of it. Okay, next I have two bronzers from Fenty Beauty. This one is in the shade Shady Biz. These are also really good. And then I also have... Ugh, this one in the shade Private Island. I want to get the Into Sun one, but I just haven't yet. We've got two bronzers from Milani. These are their Silky Matte bronzers. I have one, mine in the shade 01 Sunlight and 03 Sun Tan. Um, these are also pretty good bronzers from the drugstore. Elf Primer Infused Bronzer. This one is in the shade Forever Sunkissed. This is really good too if you have super fair skin. I use this when, my, when I'm super fair and I really like it. And then we've got three bronzers from Wet n Wild. This is from, was from their Dragon Collection. So it had like a dragon embossing on it, but it's pretty much gone. The formula on this is very interesting. It feels like a jelly. Can you see that? Like it barely shows up on my finger. It feels like a gelé type of texture. Um, it just requires the products to be built up a lot. So this one is in the shade You're Dragging Me Down. I also have this one in the shade Queensland. They all, the color of them all look very similar when you hold them up next to each other. And I think it's just because of the like formula makes it look, I don't know. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. And then this one's in the shade Bronze Dynasty. This one's probably the darkest out of the three. And then next up, we have the Kylie Cosmetics Bronzer. This one's, this one's in the shade Tequila Tan. This I actually surprisingly really like this. I didn't think that I was going to. Um, I don't know why. I guess just from hearing from other people. But I actually really do. Her blushes. I have one blush from her that I like. And I was going to actually buy more. Because I liked her bronzer and her blush so much. But I went to go swatch them before I bought them. And it was like it was a completely different formula. Like it was barely showing up at all. So I thought that was interesting. Okay. Uh, sorry guys. I'm trying to put all this back together. As you can see I'm struggling. Okay. Very last, 
drawer. So the very first bronzer I have sitting right here, this is from Lorac. This is their bronzer in the shade Pool Party. Do you see I almost dropped that? Tantalizer Buildable Bronzing Powder and Pool Party. This is also really good if you're fair. Um, it's matte, it blends out well. I like it. And then we have another Lorac bronzer. This is in the shade Sundays. This one is quite a bit deeper than the other one and it does have some shimmer in it. So um, if you want, if you're not into that, go, go for the pool party one. Next we have Matte Cosmetics and this is a extra dimension bronzer from a limited, limited edition collection that isn't available anymore this one's in the shade aphrodite shell i love the packaging on this because you can actually feel like the water drops have like texture to them um i don't know why we like it and then we have a physician's formula butter bronzer classic this is as good as everyone says it is this one's in the shade bronzer we have an urban decay beach bronzer this one's in the shade bronzed this is super warm, super orange, um, which I just, sometimes I just like that. So, um, this is just super old though. So, yeah, don't think you can get it anymore. Um, next up we have, I'm not going to be able to open this one, I just know it. Ugh. A Makeup Geek Bronzer, this is in the shade of Tawny. This one's for medium skin, which I do not have. I'm light skinned, but I like light skinned. You sound like an idiot, Brittany. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I really prefer bronzers to be a little bit darker, so that's why I have that one. Next, we have MAC Cosmetics. This is this was their highlight powder in the shade of Spring Bling. Um, this is not a highlight powder. I bought this, and it had a gold overspray, and I rubbed my finger through it once to swatch it, and it went away, which I knew it was going to do that because I would seen other people have the same problem. That's why I, brought, I bought the darker shade because I figured I could use it as a bronzer, and I really wanted this packaging. Um, I figured I could use it as a bronzer instead of buying the one that was pinky and supposed to be a highlighter and then I end up having a pink powder because of the overspray wearing off. So, good thinking on my part, I know. Thank you so much. Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. I know I'm not going to be able to open these. If you want me to show these on camera, let me know. Um, I have two shades. One's like 25i and the other one's like 30m or something. Mmm. <sighs> I know one's super, super warm and one's pretty neutral, but I love both of these. They are a more buildable formula, so you just have to take your time with, like, you have to build them up, so you have to, you know what I'm trying to say, take your time with them. Next, we have a Becca Cosmetics Bronzer in Capri Coast. Super good, super good. And then we have another Becca Cosmetics Bronzer. This one's in the shade Sunrise Waves. This is a... Well, that was a weird uh. Um, this is hit or miss for me. Sometimes I love it when I use it, and sometimes I could do without. So, who knows. Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer. Again, this is one of my all-time favorite bronzers. Glowy, beautiful bronzer from Too Faced. Um, if you guys need one. And then we have a Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer again. This one is just in the shade Sunkissed, so it's a little bit deeper, and I think this just has more of a sheen to it than the other one. Love both of them. They have the same fragrance. They both smell amazing. Next, we have Galactic Bronzer. This is in the shade Cabo. This is a really good bronzer to use for contouring um, because it's not too... Um, warm and I don't feel find that it's too cool toned it's neutral right in the middle and then Too Faced this is their pineapple paradise strobing bronzer in the shade of pineapple sun I could also go do without this because this does just leave like straight up glitter on my face I may actually end up decluttering this to be quite honest with you I don't know for sure but for now I'm gonna hold on to it and then the very last bronzer we have in here, this is the NARS, their Sun Wash Diffusing, I think is the formula. 
or the name what well, I don't know exactly it's something like that but this one's in the shade Laguna um, I want to get the normal Laguna because I only have it in the like normal in or not the normal. my god I only have it in that formula and I would be interested to try it in the normal formula Sometimes, though, when I go to buy products, like, that is a product that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I get so wrapped up in the new stuff that comes out that I forgot, I forget that I've been meaning to try, like, one of those. So, yeah. Oh, no, we're not going to fit. Okay, there. Okay, so that is our bronzer drawer. Next, we're moving on to blush. So, for whatever reason, blush is one of those drawers, it's... This is one of those drawers that I feel like I have so much of it, and it's probably what I use the least of. Um, I just feel like everyone's always coming out with a new blush, and I don't know, I just, I'm not crazy about blush. I just, it's not a product I get excited to apply. I still apply it, and I still use it. That's why I have so much of them, but I don't know. Let me know if anyone else is like that. So... Um, I have a separate drawer where I keep, see like it's overflowing and these aren't even in here correctly. I have a separate drawer where I keep face palettes, but all of these palettes in here are just blush. So that's why I keep them in here. So the very first one I have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit. This one's in the shade Radiant. Oh, I went through hell and high water to find this because by the time I'd gotten around to buying it, it was not available in stores anymore. So I did find it on Poshmark. If you buy makeup from Poshmark, be very careful because there are a lot of people out there who will try and sell you ones that aren't real. But I went through so much to get this and I feel like this just doesn't blow me away as much. Um, but yeah, have that one. I also have this Tarte. Um, this is their Blush Bazaar. This is their Blush Bazaar. <laughs> I also don't use this as much as I thought I would. And I think it's maybe because, like, when I pull out products for my shop, my stash, I have a section for my blush. And if I pull this out, then I don't need any more blush. Which I guess is good. But does that make any sense? I don't know. But I have that guy. Let's see. What else do we have down here? I also have this Becca Blush Palette. This is Blushed with Light, their Blush Trio. Let me see if I can open this. Oh yeah, that's what it looks like. So we've got the shade Wisteria, Songbird, and Snapdragon in here. Um, what's the middle one? Songbird is my favorite out of here, but all three of them are super pretty. So yeah, we hot hot. Okay. Next blushes I have, these are the ColourPop Kathleen Lights blushes. I'm sure you guys have seen these if you watch my previous video because I just pulled these out for a shot my stash. Um, I just saw um, not too long ago where she's making her own compacts to put these in and I'm kind of big mad she didn't. they didn't just do that from the get-go because I would have preferred that, you know, to have them in their own, like, Kathleen Lights compacts. Because I'm not about to go out and buy the new ones just to put the blushes I have already in there. So that was kind of annoying. But yeah, I have all four of them. They are they are super pretty and I do highly recommend them. Next we have Benefit Gold Rush. This is like a shimmery pink blush. And I have mine just, just like the travel size. This smells so good. I don't know what, what I would... I'm, I suck at this. I would be surprised if anyone watches this video. I don't know what scent they put in this, but it smells amazing. Okay, we're at the 43 minute mark. I need to get going. Benefit California. I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is like a corally color. Super pretty. The, I did see, I bought the travel size of that and the travel size of Gold Rush because I did see where someone said that they both had an overspray. And I was like, I'm not messing with that. So I just got the travel size. Buxom Cosmetics Mykonos. I want to get seashells, but every time I go to Ulta, they're sold out. Tarte Captivating. This is an old ass blush. I've had this for so long. Um, but it is a super pretty color. It's like a corally color, which is my kind of blush. 
We've got the Kat Von D. What is this? Shade and Light Blush and Samson and Delilah. I've also had this blush for a long ass time. Um, I may end up decluttering it because I never use it. L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Blush. This is in the shade uh, Just Curious. These are super pretty and they actually smell like that peach scent I think is really nice. Um, some, if you don't like scents though, obviously don't get these. I have another one. This one's in the shade Bashful. All right, next one up we have a Makeup Geek Blush. Ugh. This one's in the shade Bliss. This one's all right. It's fine. It does the job. You know, I also have two of these Milani Rose Blushes. The embossing on these is stunning. I have it in Coral Cove and Tea Rose. And then we've got this Pixie by Petra Blush. This one's in the shade of Beach Rose. Um, that's a very like bronzy, like I'm wearing extra bronzer kind of blush. And then I have three blushes. These are from Becca. Um, these are actually really, really good. The first one I have right here, this is Wild Honey. Oh no, come on, you got this. Um, this one's a super pretty peachy bronzy color. I also have the shade Flower Child. Come on, you got this girl. It's also a really pretty, these are just, these like three blushes by Becca are just my tone, you know, when it comes to blush. Um, and then this one, this one's in the shade Songbird. I really love all three of those. Then we've got, this is that Kylie Cosmetics blush I was talking about. Let me see if I can open it. Oh. Yeah. So this one's in the shade Close to Perfect. The color of this is really pretty and the pigmentation is actually pretty good. Um, I wanted to buy like the baddie on the block one simply because of the name, I'm not gonna lie. But I swatched it and the pigmentation just doesn't look great. Honest Beauty Cream Blush. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. Okay, that was harder than it needed to be. This one's in the shade Rose Pink. I actually was going to film a video doing a full face of Honest Beauty, but when I tell you guys that was a fail, I mean it was an epic fail. Half of the products didn't even work for me. Um, next we have the Urban Decay Afterglow Blush. This is in the shade of Video. Palladio Matte Blush. This one's in the shade Toasted Apricot. I bought this because of Casey Holmes. This is super pretty in the winter. Laura Geller Blush. This is their blush in Brighton in the shade Pink Buttercream. I really want to purchase more of these because this is just such... I hear nothing but good things and that one is really good too. Then we have the Makeup Revolution Matte Blush in the shade Nude. Tati Westbrook talks about these all the time and for a good reason and I wanted to buy more but I can't find these in my Ulta anymore. So I'm going to have to check online and find out for sure if they stopped selling them at Ulta, if they just stopped selling them or what. Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. This one isn't as great as I thought it was going to be, honestly, but it's fine. I'm going to keep it. We've got three Hourglass Blushes. Um... Let me see if I can find out what the shades are for you. I'm sorry this video is a hot mess. Incandescent Electra Diffuse Heat Radiant Magenta. Radiant Magenta sounds terrifying, but this is actually a really pretty mauve blush. Um, actually, all the names of these sound awful, but I promise they're not. Um, Diffused Heat, Super Pretty Coral. And then Incandescent Electra. All of these, I don't find that these have a lot of pigment to them. It's more so just a glow. And then we have two Flower Beauty blushes. These are in the shade of, um, Peach Pimrose and Sweet Tea. These are very good and expensive blushes if you need some. What in Wild blushes, we've got Rose Champagne and Apricot in the middle. Also very good and expensive blushes. Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in the shade of Peachy Love. Not sure if this was, if I love this. Also one of those things that I might be getting rid of, but I really like the tone or the blush that's all the way on the right and the one that's all the way on the left, so maybe we'll hold on to it. But overall, I'm just, it's eh. MAC Julia Petite Blush. This one's in the shade of Linda. Super pretty. 
Not gonna lie, I also bought this off of Poshmark because I felt like I just needed more matte cosmetics in my collection. Um, we've got two Clinique Cheek Pops. One is in the shade Ginger Pop and the other one is in the shade Melon Pop. Highly recommend those. We've got another matte cosmetics. This is a mineralized blush, so it's a little bit more um, like a skin-like finish. This one's in the shade of Like Me, Love Me, super pretty blush. We have another matte cosmetics blush in the shade Eternal Sun. Love that. Oh God. Two essence, or wait, what? what? We've got a Flower Beauty. Flower Beauty blush again. This is in the shade Warm Hibiscus. Here we go. Two essence blushes. Satin blushes, these are in the shades Satin Coral and Satin Love. An e.l.f. primer infused blush in the shade Always Cheeky. This is borderline too light for me, but I keep it for when I'm really, really fair. Two Milani blushes. We've got good old Luminoso, one of my favorite blushes. And then uh, Rose Romantica, also really good. Two of the Burt's Bees blushes, Toasted Cinnamon and Bare Peach. These are super amazing as well. Two faced blushes. We've got I Will Always Love You and Baby Love. Juvia's Place Serafina blush. This is actually super pretty. And then Wet and Wild. This is their baked blush from their Hummingbird com collection in the shade Hummingbird Hype. I actually love this. Um, it is definitely a glowy blush. It has shimmer in it, so if you have texture, this will enhance it, but the color of it is just stunning. And then we have two blush palettes from Morphe. The very first one here is Pop of Peach. And then we also got Pop of Coral, and I really like both of these. So that's my blush drawer. I think I'm going to end it here, guys. We tackled the left-handed side and uh, up on my vanity. Um, and I'm sitting at almost an hour as far as my recording goes. And I still have to do my intro. So I think we're going to do um, the right-handed side second. And then maybe my eyeshadow, pa eyeshadow palettes in the second portion too. Or just... Um, put it all together I don't know for sure yet it depends on how long again let me know if the shakiness of this video other than the fact that I've been trying to open products bothers you guys because if not then I will just wait to film it later um but yeah that's it for me today guys I hope you all enjoyed um let me know what else you would like to see let me know if there's anything in my collection video that you saw you wanted me to use in a video and i will see you guys next time bye